Hey guys, so today's video is going to be all about the Kathleen Lights collab with Colourpop on the Dream Street eyeshadow palette. So this is what it looks like. It's such stunning packaging. I honestly love this packaging so much. It's like a cream finish and then it's got all of this foiled rose gold. It just looks amazing. So I bought mine from the Colourpop website, which is I believe the only place you can get it. It costs $16 and it is about $15 Australian to ship to Australia. So all up the palette cost me around $30 or so once everything converted, which I honestly feel like that is very standard. Like that is an affordable price for us in Australia. We don't get things quite as cheap obviously as the US, but it's just one of those things. So I was more than happy. I'm one of those people that buys all of Kathleen's collaborations. I've supported her for a very long time, so I'm always happy to buy her collabs and buy her products. I've used this palette probably three or four times now and I have been incredibly impressed by it. The pigmentation is so much intenseness, like it is really, really pigmented. You'll see me when I did this eyeshadow look in the demo when I used this colour, which is the shade Spark. So when I used the shade Spark, it was so pigmented, I really had to blend it out because of how pigmented it was. Um, so all of the colours that I've used so far are incredibly pigmented. The only colour I haven't actually used are... Uh, this blue um, and this golden bronzy kind of shade here. Um, the rest of the shades I have used at least once. That's a lie, I haven't used these two either. But they swatch amazingly and I find with these I always swatch with my fingers and with the like shimmery foiled shadows I always apply them to my eyes with my fingers as well. You just get a better colour payoff and I just would rather do that and then wipe my fingers off. So you get 12 colours in here. I think the colours are absolutely an amazing like colour palette choice. Um, I love that there are all the warm tones that are just so beautiful. I love warm tones so much. But I also love that there are these blues and these pops of colour so you can actually do a colourful eyeshadow look if you want to. Like today I feel like this is more of a dramatic look and you can get that just with this palette so I love it. I love the mattes but I love the foil shadows even more and I'm calling them foiled because I feel like these aren't shimmers or sheens. They are an intense foiled eyeshadow like incredibly intense. So the only thing that I love eyeshadow palettes to have is a matte skin tone shade um, like for fair skin which obviously that works for me which is why I like when palettes have it. This one doesn't have it but honestly it's not that big of a deal because so many palettes don't and you can buy them separately. I have so many separate ones or I could just use my face powder so honestly it doesn't make that huge of a difference to me and there's no black but I get again the same. I feel like no big deal. Most other palettes have a black. I have many many different black eyeshadows that I can reach for so it really doesn't make that much of a difference for me. It does not have a mirror in it either, which I admit would be handy, but I would rather pay a smaller price tag and not have a mirror and use another one than pay a bit extra, if that makes any sense, because obviously that puts extra money into the palette, which they've obviously saved on and been able to sell it to us as consumers for a cheaper price. So yeah, that makes sense to me why they've done that. Honestly, all up, I don't even know what else to say about this. There are no bad points that I can point out. I am honestly in love with every single shade that I've tried. There's honestly nothing I can fault. It's amazing quality. You would not know that this is by Colourpop and cost 15 bucks. Like, this is like way up there with my Tarte eyeshadows, with my Lorac, my, you know, all of these high-end brands. It's, it's way up there in quality and it is still in stock so if you were thinking about getting it, I would say get it while it's in stock. I don't know if this is going to be a permanent line or if it's just limited edition but I will try and find out and leave it down below. But yeah, honestly guys, I have nothing bad to say about this. So let's just get on with the demo part of the 
video so on this eye look if you have enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up it just helps me to know that you guys like reviews as well because I feel like I'm more in a rut of makeup tutorials which I love but I want to get more into doing reviews again like I used to so let me know anyway without further, further ado let's just get into the tutorial so I started out with the shade called Magical. Um, it is like a matte peachy kind of shade and as you can see you do need to build it up a little bit. The first kind of layer doesn't show up too much colour unless you pack on the colour if that makes sense. But I just used it as sort of a transition and kind of like a warm tone in the crease. Then I went in with the next shade which is called Shooting Star. It's like a golden brownie type shade. Um, it's a perfect transition shade as well and I just feel like it mixed really well with that matte peachy colour so I was impressed with these two. Then I went in with the shade Potion which is like a rusty brown warm toned kind of brown and I just started to build that up in the outer corner Oops. and I sort of started to drag it in through the crease and under the lower lash line so as you can see building up in the outer V first. Then I took it through the crease and under the lower lash line and you can see that a colour is quite pigmented. And then this shade is called Spark. This is incredibly intense pigment. Like I applied it without realising how intense it was. So as you can see it turned out very like pinky reddish. So I flipped over to my original blending brush and just made sure that the edges were blended but it is such a gorgeous colour. and. For those of you who think it's not wearable, I 100% disagree. I think it's very wearable. Then I am using the shade Elfish and I'm just doing the same type of thing, just kind of building this up in a wingy, winged kind of shape in the outer corner. So just kind of focusing on, yeah, building it up there. And then I took the shade Mermaid Boy, which I was so excited to use, and it is stunning. It's like a greenish blue teal shade, and I used my finger to apply it. It applied so beautifully and buttery. Oh, it's so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. So I applied some to my lower lash line as well, and then just blended everything out and added a little bit more elfish. I'm so sorry I'm stumbling over my words. I feel like I can't talk today. And then I'm just taking the shade Mooney and I am highlighting my brow bone and my inner corners and that was pretty much it with the eyeshadow palette. That's all I used from the palette so I just tight lined and lined my upper lash line and sort of made it a bit smokier with a liner. Um, applied some mascara and some falsies and that was it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. I believe called Sweet Dreams. Is that right? Like in, uh, I can't explain that. So yeah, when I use the shade Sweet Sparks, oh my god, thumbs up, and it let me know. Like it lets me know 